Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and you know what's crazy? I still <laughs> haven't done my full review on this knife. I did my first impressions um, purposely before uh, or as the knife launched. This is the Rec PM2. Um, so that is coming. I just keep wanting to film it outdoors. I brought it on my last hike, but didn't end up having the time to really film the way I wanted to. Um, just ran out of daylight, frankly, but <laughs> this is still coming. Um, uh, my first impressions, because I already know the PM2 wells, kind of a full review, but I have a video planned for this, so that's coming. Anyways, the reason for this video is because I got a package from River's Edge Cutlery. Now this package has a little bit of a funny story about it, and uh, I'm just gonna be honest, because transparency is important to me. So my last package from River's Edge Cutlery, um, some weird things happened. First, my wife opened it thinking it was one of her packages, and then it was opened beyond the point of me being able to really do a real honest unboxing of it. Um, that's the one that my Civivi Elementum was in. But it was also supposed to have a lynch clip in it. Lynch and well, River's Edge Cutlery did a run of lynch clips in Flat Dark Earth. Not this same Flat Dark Earth, which I don't know if I've shown you guys that I put this on here yet, but I was able to get from one of my buddies a lynch Flat Dark Earth clip. These River's Edge Cutlery does as well from time to time, and it's, it goes very well with this knife, so I put it immediately on here. That's the, the clip I wanted for this all along. But they did a different shade of Flat Dark Earth and they call it Magpul Flat Dark Earth. So if you own Magpul Firearms Accessories and they're in Flat Dark Earth, it should be this color of Flat Dark Earth. Um, what's interesting is Flat Dark Earth has some variants in it. Um, if you want a good example of that, look up some images of the FN Scar in Flat Dark Earth. Uh, the FN Scar, when specced out in the Flat Dark Earth configuration, is this weird combination of several different shades of flat dark earth because some parts of it are like plastic or rubbery stuff some parts of it are um, aluminum I think um, some parts of it are steel and so the way that these things are coated or created the color is not exactly the same but they're all considered flat dark earth so when you say flat dark earth it doesn't necessarily have to mean the exact same thing every time but the reason for this whole story, I'm gonna start cutting this as, as I continue explaining. Um, the lynch clip box was in there and then I opened the lynch clip box and all that was in it was the little like white paper envelope um, that has like hardware in it and there was just no clip. And so I immediately messaged the guys over at Rupert's Edge Cutlery and they're friends at this point, they're cool dudes. And uh, they were like, that is crazy, but we will take care of it. So they immediately sent this back out, and it's actually been sitting here for a day or two. I've, I've gotten behind on my, uh, my openings of things. Um, anyway, here it is. This is the same box as I already got. Um, this one, the label is already cut. I cut the label on mine. It was like a sealed package. Um, I don't know if it came from the coders, like whoever did the coatings on them and it was missing the clip, or I don't know how that happened. It's a weird, weird thing, um, but kudos to River's Edge Cutlery for just immediately taking care of it and sending a new one right out. Um, let's see, in this one, there are two envelopes. So we have this envelope, which is the one I got last time, and then we have the one that the clip is actually in. So that is a good thing. Um, Casey Lynch, by all accounts, is a really cool dude. I don't know how I still haven't had a conversation with Casey Lynch, because everyone speaks so highly of him. I should probably just shoot the dude a message and say hello, and that I'm a fan, because um, yeah, I've owned so many Lynch clips. I always like them. I run them on a bunch of my knives, and uh, yeah, I just need to, need to say hello to that guy. So here we have the Flat Dark Earth, Magpul Flat Dark Earth, I should say, Lynch clip. Looks like a pretty cool shade to me. Let's see how it looks next to this one. It looks like it's a little bit um, almost like grayer. Maybe a little bit closer to the... It's like splitting the difference between this flat dark earth and the OD green. It like might even have a little bit green, kind of. I don't know. 
these LED lights in here, which I'm still playing with my setup, trying to get right. I'm getting like weird reflections and stuff, but um, they might not be the best. I'll take some natural light pictures of this as well. What's curious as well is this is the Coyote Brown Scorpion 10V River's Edge Cutlery PM2. Um, and it's also very different from the Coyote Brown. Let's hold it just next to the scale material. So I don't know yet what knife I'm even going to put this clip on, but I just knew it seemed like a cool color of a lynch clip and like I would certainly, something would come up eventually. I kind of like it on the Avocado PM2. I feel like it blends in more with the scale, whereas this clip blends better with the blade. But this clip isn't exactly the same color as the blade either. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out which one I want to put on here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I keep this FDE clip on here? Should I switch to the Magpul FDE clip? Or should I put this clip on a different knife entirely? Um, it'll fit on a lot of my Spydercos. Also, I sold my fluted carbon fiber Native 5 today. I didn't really want to, but California Custom Knife Show is in a couple of days and knife shows are just more fun if you got some walking around money in your pocket you know so selling a couple of knives and there was somebody who's one of my followers is actually in Canada and has wanted one of those for a really long time and just hasn't been able to get one and uh, he's messaged me several times asking if I'd be willing to sell it to him and so I knew I already had a buyer um, who would be excited to have it and don't tell Thomas more because that's his favorite spider co and I kind of bought it because of him and I've loved that knife but walking around money sounded more fun than having a native five anyway so this can't go on the fluted carbon fiber native five because I no longer have that knife maybe I'll get another one at some point or try a different native like a lightweight probably not but maybe we'll see one of these days I don't know I've got a few spider coats this could go on my pair of three it might look cool with those Cerberus scales, with the worker scales, that are kind of like an OD green. This might, maybe I'll try that. I don't know, we'll see. You guys will, I'm sure, probably see on Instagram first whatever it ended up on. But um, thanks to my buddies at River's Edge Cutlery for um, immediately sending one out when I let them know what happened. And uh, I, yeah, I think it's a good thing when a retailer can be very quick to respond when something goes a little bit south and it is no secret that river's edge cutlery is my favorite retailer i cannot recommend them enough this is the only order issue i've ever had and i don't think it's really their fault i assume when they got <laughs> that shipment of boxes uh whether it was from lynch himself or from the coating company who was coating them <laughs> um i I think they, they left them sealed. The one that came to me was sealed. So um, kudos to them for just being like, you're right, that is crazy. Here's a tracking number. We've got another one coming to you. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. <laughs> this has been an interesting one. And uh, I'm sure those of you who don't like unboxings didn't like this video. But joke's on you if you clicked on a video that said unboxing in the title and, uh, and you made it to here. I look forward to your negative comment telling me that I shouldn't make these types of videos. Anyways, thanks guys. I, uh, having a good time here. <laughs> I'll see you later.